And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I get the horses in. Next is feeding the yo lambs. But I've got to close the horses off first. Come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Come on, girl. Come on. Walk on in. Atta girl. Now, separate the alpaca. The yeah, lambs and ebony are there. The alpaca. And the baby. There you go. Now she's got loads because by the time she, by the time those two finish, oh, no, no, this is not for you. They steal from the baby. And she needs her munchies. And the horses have finished their munchies. Oh, I better feed the rams. Here's the ram's food. Ugh. Only two of them, so not very much meal. And it's wet and raining. Having a good munch. Okay, now somewhere in here, there's a yo lamb crippled with uh, scald. I saw her goat coming back in, so I've got the doctor apparatus to use. I have to spot her now. Ah, there she is. That one right there. Yeah, you can see she's... I think that's her. Maybe it's not her. Okay. Let's see. Maybe it is her. Is it you? Oh my goodness, the horses are gonna break the gate. Hey, don't. You're gonna break the gate. Leaning over like that, it's gonna pop and hurt your chest. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to correct that first. I'm going to have to move the food that's dripped down. No, come on. Get back. So she's trying to get all the food that's dropped over the edge. So I'm going to have to rake that up because she could lean into that gate and break it. Hey, bold you. I'm gonna have to clean it up now. I'll have to do the scald lamb in a second. I'm just gonna leave the stuff here in your feed trough. Don't go and spray yourself now. So I caught the lamb and I've treated her. I've almost treated myself. Um, I'm letting the stuff dry off in between her toes. So that uh, when she goes back, you can see the ground's wet. Inca here is, of course, helping me. So I had to herd the group of them into this corner to catch her. Even though she was crippled lame, I've put the blue spot on her so that I can check her tomorrow. And probably by day after tomorrow, 48 hours, she'll be completely sound. I trimmed her toes. And Inca's sniffing around for the lovely, rich hoof pairings. It seems like all the dogs love hoof pairings. I think I put as much spray on myself as I did on in between her toes. 
You can see her white of her foot is a bit sprayed as well. So let's see if they've dried. Yeah, they're still a bit wet. I'm gonna hang on to you for a minute or two more just so that your toes can dry. See, I drag that cloth in between the claws. So in that section of the foot, in between the two claws to dry and pull all the mud off. And then I spray with that alamycin, this stuff. It's kind of a antibiotic mixture thingamabobby. And she should be sound within 48 hours, or at least here's hoping. So as long as her, her blue spray <laughs> on her head doesn't come off. Maybe I should look at her ear tag too. That's her ear tag. 658. 658. Yeah. 658. Nope, we're going to stay here even though it's raining. You can see here the dribble there. She's sitting there waiting for me or lying down now. So it's raining. <laughs> and I'm under the clear blue sky, except it's not blue. It's raining and it's dark and it's night. Easy does it, girl. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Yeah, my hand probably doesn't smell nice. Okay, I better pick up these bits. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now, she's going to be very sore now, kind of saying, oh, my feet hurt, 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 hurt. I'm going to open the gate now to let them all back into the shed, out of the rain. That's her, you can see her hobbling along. Okay. You can hear the rain over our heads. I'm gonna go inside. Okay, girls and boys. Everything's done for the evening. And I cleared up underneath the, where the horses were eating. I raked it up. Didn't I? So you now can't lean over the gate and bust it. So that then it injures you. I'd prefer not to have injured horses.